Hey everybody, welcome back to Simon the Cat Show. Uh, we are gonna be answering one of our favorite questions today. This is Simon, also known as Backpacking Kitty. I was just feeding him some treats. And I'm JJ Yosh, and we're going to talk to you guys about a question I got asked the other day, which is, why did I name Simon, Simon? Simon, can you order you to look at everybody? All right, I'm gonna have him look at everybody here. Isn't he pretty? If you guys have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right here below. Make sure to thumbs up the video. I wish you could give two thumbs up because then it could really show us that you like the video. But actually a way that you can show us that you really like the video is thumbs it up, share it with your friends, and also write a comment. Comment can be about anything. It can be about a cat joke. It can be about future cat tricks, future cat questions or just how your day's doing. So let's dive into this question. How did I name Simon, Simon? Now this is a really cool story. When I actually first got Simon, and if you haven't watched that video on how I got Simon, go ahead and watch the video, How I Rescued Simon. When I first got Simon, he was the worst cat ever. Like the devil cat. And it wasn't because he was a black cat, you know, but bad luck, you know, with black cats, because he's actually been a lot of good luck. Um, it was because when I first got him, he didn't seem to want to be near me or with me. He uh, meowed every moment of the first 24 hours that I got him, like literally meowed. Meowed so much that I had to put him in his own room because the meow was just so aggravating. And every time I got near him, he would run away. Um, that was just the tip of the iceberg though with Simon because he also wouldn't go to the bathroom where he needed to. He was terrorizing. Uh, he just was not a nice cat. And as soon as I opened the door, he ran away and uh, hid under a rock and just was just the worst cat ever. And I, and I really loved cats too. I really like cats, but Simon gave me this taste where I was like, you know what? I want to take this cat back to the Humane Society, even though I didn't even get him there. So I actually named Simon Diablo after the devil. I think that's Diablo's Spanish for the devil. And that was his name. I was like, you know what? This cat is the devil. He, he really is. He's a devil cat. So it turns out um, that a couple days later, I'm going to... Give him a treat to keep him occupied. Come on, come on over here. Come on over here. Hey, come here. Come here, sir. Come here, come here. I'm gonna see how many treats it takes him to get up here. Come on. To five, five treats, okay. Uh, it turns out that a couple days later, he calmed down and became the nice, loving cat that we know today as Simon. And one of my friends said to me casually, why don't we name him Simon? And uh, coincidentally, um, I, there's a lot of significance behind the name Simon. And she didn't know that. She just was casually suggesting that. But as soon as she said Simon, I'm like, yes, of course, Simon. Uh, and uh, I'll explain to you guys why Simon's so significant. So ever since I was a child, little as can be, I have been very drawn to the name Simon. Um, you know when you're like little and you have like this voice in your head or imaginary friend? Well, for me, my imaginary friend was Simon. Or I like to think of my imaginary friend as, uh, in the voice in my head as my garden angel, Simon. And so um, forever, I just had this kind of higher being um, looking after me, my garden angel, and it was Simon. Simon was was always there guiding me. And uh, this was like th throughout the, in my entire life. And actually um, in Catholic school, you have to do um, sacraments. And I had to do confirmation in, in high school. And, I and you have to choose a confirmation name. So I chose the name uh, Simon as my confirmation name. Um, and I, you know, forever I always wanted the name Simon too. It was just like a very significant name. So um, when when uh, I finally got Simon, 
and then my friend casually was like, oh, we should name Simon Simon. I was like, oh my God. I had this epiphany, this realization that that Simon was more than just a cat. He was actually my garden angel who manifested in physical form. So after all these years of having this garden angel, like being the spirit that was around me, finally, finally now, my garden angel was now here in physical form. So I actually do very much believe that Simon is truly, in fact, my garden angel. He is here um, guiding me. He's my spirit animal. Um, he's been a good luck charm ever since I've gotten him. He is just, uh, you know, amazing, a, a completely an amazing cat. And so that is why Simon is Simon. He is my garden angel in physical form and he, he truly is an angel. So now you guys know why Simon is called Simon. And uh, yeah, I wonder, I, I have a question for all of you guys out there. Um, what, what have you named your cats? And why did you name your cat the name you gave your cat? Because it's always interesting to hear the stories of like the origins and meanings behind why you give your cats names. Because usually there's a fantastic story behind it. Um, so, Thank you guys for tuning in for this question. We have so many more questions coming up. Our next episode is gonna be how to actually make your cat Insta-famous, in case you're curious about that. So make sure to tune in for that episode because that will be coming up next. And uh, if you guys have not liked, make sure to thumbs this video up. Make sure to send a comment with future cat tricks, future cat jokes, and also future cat questions or just questions in general. Well, until next time, guys, make sure to subscribe to Instagram, Backpacking Kitty, JJ Yosh. This is uh, Simon, Backpacking Kitty, signing off, and also me. See you guys next time. Bye.